Citizen Defense Force pilot MP Starus was on a special test flight in Cleo of Microtech in the organization's Aegis Eclipse. Marked as a mid range stealth bomber designed for tactical torpedo strikes on installations or large ships, this particular Eclipse was a decommissioned United Empire of Earth military vessel. Manufactured just before the UE released Eclipses to the civilian market in 2947, this Eclipse never saw combat and was even recently overhauled by Aegis Dynamics and transferred to its current owners just before Invictus in 2952. There was nothing extraordinary about this particular Eclipse, and that was the problem. MK's peers have noticed that her Eclipse was not as stealthy as it should be, and today's flight was to test its stealth and emission systems. Everything looked good as she started her initial tests, with the exception of relatively low visibility in Clio, but that was not very uncommon. The first test was to turn off systems one by one to see if they reduce the stealth signature. However, in the third test, disaster struck. As the Aegis begins to accelerate towards the ground, MK remembers her emergency abnormal checklist and goes through various remedial steps to no avail. As the test was conducted in low altitude, there really wasn't much time. Unable to generate enough lift, the Eclipse drops to the ground. Thankfully, Cleo is a low gravity moon and that there was still some thrust coming from her engines, mitigating the disaster. But the Aegis landed upturned and was too damaged to be restarted, necessitating a rescue call. Despite being startled by the crash, MK tried her best to restart the vessel, only to find that while the engines were still functional, they simply weren't generating enough thrust, which was clearly the precipitating factor for the crash. Anyway, after trying her best, she gave up and decided to abandon the Eclipse and wait for the recovery crew's arrival. Still disoriented from the crash, it took a while for M Key to establish her bearings. Help had better come soon. It was minus 65 degrees Celsius and her flight suit wouldn't protect her for very long in those extremes. Moreover, in typical Star Citizen physics, the winds of Cleo were slowly starting to blow away her 55-ton eclipse, removing her only source of shelter from the harsh environments outside. Thankfully, she could hear the sound of engines in the distance, and a rescue had arrived. It was her Ox Quartermaster, Starus himself flying the C-8R. Assessing that her injuries were very light, Starus had asked MK to walk to the rescue vessel herself. Such a gentlemanly behaviour. All's well that ends well. As they say in Star Citizen, any crash you can walk away from is a good crash. And now, for the findings of the investigations. As the Eclipse was relatively intact, it was quickly retrieved and its flight recorders recovered. Investigators quickly came to the conclusion that it was pilot error. MK was testing emission systems and an accidentally activated stealth mode which limited the total amount of power available to the ship. In the seconds before disaster, MK had turned on the shields even though the ship was in a power limited state and this took all available power away from engines. However, investigators also concluded that this crash was preventable. The Microtech authorities are recommending to the United Empire of Earth, Space and Aeronautical Safety Authorities that revisions be made to flight computers of all vessels to alert pilots that they are in stealth mode. Another recommendation is to have flight computers reset power settings upon a complete restart as in this case the pilot MK had done. Lastly, the recommendation is for all UEE civilian single-seat pilot vessels to be equipped with a fail-safe system 
using 22nd century AI technology to detect that a vessel is falling in a certain way and activate emergency thrusters to level out just before hitting the ground. It was fortuitous that no one needed any regeneration this time. We all know that starships are very complex machines and that there are many systems that need to work together in order to ensure a safe flight. This is the 30th century and let AI automate many of the processes that combat pilots need to take care of so that they can focus on their mission. But let us work together to make the space lanes and skies of Stanton safer for everyone. Alright fellow star citizens, if you found this video entertaining or even funny, please drop a like or even subscribe. Your comments and guidance are also welcome. This is Starus, signing out.